Good morning. I will do want to thank you guys for joining us today on this job notice 101 on working with attachments. And we do appreciate y'all being here today. And my name is Tristan. And we've also got Daniel with us and I'm Logan and it's a pleasure to have you here with us today. Today we're going to be talking about attachments inside Job Nimbus. These are the PDFs and the images that you can attach to your contacts and jobs that will help you keep a track of information that you can add to your documents and how to work with them on the mobile app. So today we're going to be working with the Job Nimbus app. We're not going to run a slide deck. We're just going to jump in. We're going to talk about things on the mobile app and on the web app and demo them for them. So without much ado, let's go ahead and jump into the mobile app. Thanks so much, Logan. I do apologize. I was muted earlier when I tried to introduce myself. <laughs> Those things happen. Uh, so before we get into uh, before we get into talking about attachments, uh, we want to cover how to categorize your attachments. Attachment categories are like subfolders for your documents and uh, documents and photos. Your attachment categories are found in your account settings. If you'd like to update your attachment categories, you'll need to have admin or settings access. If you don't have this access, you'll need to speak with someone on your team who does. So let's uh, get to your settings. To get to your settings, you'll want to click or hover, hover on your name in the top right corner here and select settings from the drop down menu. In your settings, you'll select attachment categories uh, in the left in the menu on the left side of the screen. Now it could be a bit far down depending on what you have enabled in your account. Here in your attachment categories settings page is where you can find all of your categories. Now Job Nimbus does include some default categories for you and some features that you may have enabled may have also included some categories in your list but you can even add your own categories to further customize your documents and photos and how they work in Job Nimbus. To create your own, click on Add Attachment Category up here in the top right. This pulls up a window to add a new category. You can name the category however you want. Just make sure it is descriptive for you and your team. Let's name our new category Insurance because we may have some, we may have some documents or photos that need to go to an insurance company for a claim. So let's save it. And now the category will be added to the bottom of your list. See, here it is. Now, one thing you may notice is that you cannot edit default categories and you can hide but not edit categories that have, that appear because you've enabled certain features. But, you can edit and even hide the custom categories that you create. This can help you if you need to change the name of a category that you've created or no longer need to see it. Something else really neat that not a lot, not a lot of people know about with this is that you can also rearrange categories in this list. This may, will make sure that the category you use the most will appear first so you can easily select it. To change the category order, simply click and drag the category to a new place. Let's pull our insurance category all the way to the top of the list. This might take a little bit since we have so many, but let's get it all the way up there. This will make it easier to find, especially since, as I mentioned, we have a lot of categories in this account. So. We have a custom category that we've created and have organized our list. Let's use it in a contact. I'm going to go back to property management services since we'll be using that contact for this webinar. 
With property management services pulled up, let's look at the photos. As you see, there are a lot of uh, photos here in this account. So we should possibly organize a few of these so they're not all in the photo type, as you see here. To, uh, to organize or to edit the category that a photo's in, let's click on the three dots to the right of the photo and select edit. Here in the category dropdown, we can choose any category that is in the account. But here's the insurance category that we just created right there at the top of the list. So let's add this photo to the insurance category and click Save Estimate. Now that we have a uh, different, a whole bunch of photos and some photos in different categories, let's look at what we can do with some of these different categories. Right here at the top of the photos panel is a drop down, a filter drop down. Here we can a uh, view. You can view all, we can choose to filter for all the photos that we have, or we can choose different categories that we have in, included in our account. We can uh, choose to look at only photos in the insurance category or other categories such as proposal. As you see, it only filters for photos in those categories. So now that we have these categories, and we understand how to find attachments based on the category. Let's talk about what we can do with your attachments. Logan, go ahead and take it away. All right. So photos and documents are good, but it's much better when you can put them other places and make them part of larger documents. We have a few ways that you can do that inside the Job Nimbus app. The first way is through a document template. Now, the way you add these to a document template is to head into your settings, go to your templates, and we can either add a new document template or work with an established one. For now, we're going to work with one that we already created earlier, this one that is called test. So we have two fields, one called document attachments and one called photo attachments. You can get these by clicking insert template fields going to the built-in section and selecting them from the menu. Let's change that back to photo. Now these are only available when you're making a document template. You won't see these if you're building an email template or an estimate template or anything like that. Once you've built your template, and as a reminder, anytime you build a template in Job Nimbus, it's a good idea to refresh your page. Let's go and use this new thing that we've built. To make a document, we click on the three dots up here at the top and from the action menu, we'll choose create document. We're gonna choose our design template, which is the test. And because we have a document template field, it pulls up a list of every single document that's attached to this contact. We can choose one of these. And then it'll also pull up a list of all of our photos. And we can choose one of these. Once we've done that, we'll go ahead and save the document. And you can choose more than one at a time, but generally for a test, I'm just gonna do one. And then let's take a look at what it looks like. Because we had the document template at the top, it shows first, and then any text that we added, and then the photo. If we added more text around the photo, we would be able to see that. If the photo had a description, then it would show up under the name right here. So document templates are one place we can put this to work. Another place that you probably would expect it to be able to be used, and you definitely can, is when you're sending an email. Just use the add attachments option right here at the bottom. And it's gonna pull up a list of all the attachments in your account. You can filter this, for instance, by the insurance category we made earlier, or you can search. 
So if we know what something is named, we can type it, type it in right there and it'll come up. And the email limit is 25 megabytes, which is enough for a few photos or some larger PDFs without any problem. You'll see the individual size of the documents you're sending right here. The last place that you can use these is when you're building a financial template. So for instance, if we're working on an estimate and we would like to add a photo of what we're working with, we can edit or create it. And next to a line item on the left-hand side, you'll see two options, an X to get rid of it and a paperclip, which allows us to get into our attachments. So we can choose one of our attachments or we can browse from our computer and add something new. And then we can add it in. You'll see it apply here. And then we can save the estimate. And if we look at this in PDF view, which is always going to be your most true to life view, you'll see that that'll appear under the item itself. So this is a lot of how we can work inside the Java Nimbus web app, but often you're out in the field and you don't have access to a computer. So let's go over a little bit of what we can do with the Job Nimbus mobile app. Yeah, sure thing. Thanks, Logan. Uh, let me pull up the mobile app real quick so we can take a look at it. Here, we're in the same contact and file that uh, we've been working with, Property Management Services. As you notice, it doesn't have the same tabs as the website application. So there really isn't a specified tab for documents or photos. So that being said, how do we get to our photos and documents? To view the attachments related to the file, simply click on the icons in the top right corner of the screen. This pulls up all related attachments and files for that contact. Let's take a look at some of these. Your files and attachments are categorized in each of their file types. These categories also include other related tabs you can find in the website application. In the related tabs, you can find your contacts tasks, uh, you can find their jobs or even related contacts. You can also view all of your documents and photos like we've been talking about with the website application. Now, another thing that you can see is any financial document that you've created and added to that contact. Your financial documents are also categorized by their different file types. We have estimates, work orders, material orders, and invoices. So this makes it super easy for you to find the exact document that you want because they're all categorized here and separated by their file type. So now that we've gone through how to find different types of attachments in the mobile app, Let's look at the different things you can do with your documents and photos in this app. In the Photos tab, so let's go back to the Photos tab, you can click on an attachment to view it in your mobile device. It pulls it up so you can view it in its entirety. It also shows the title of the photo at the bottom along with some description for the photo. Now in the Documents tab, and also with any of your other financial documents you've added, clicking on the attachment pulls up a menu for the document. In this menu, you can view the PDF, add a digital signature if you want, or even edit the document. Clicking on edit pulls up the document in its document builder, so you can update it any way that you need. It might take a second since I'm also sharing the screen, but if you want to, so that if you're needing to update or edit an estimate or an invoice, you can click on the edit 
button and it'll pull up the estimate builder or the invoice builder so you can edit various line items in that estimate or invoice. And as you see here, we have the document builder that Logan was looking at earlier. So we can change what documents or photos are shown on that document that we created earlier. So now that we've gone over how to view and edit attachments, let's take a look at how to add attachments to a contacts file in the mobile app. To add an attachment, we'll want to use the action menu found by clicking the three dots in the bottom center of the screen. This action menu is, it can be found anywhere in the contacts file on the mobile app. So let's click on those three documents to pull it up. In the action menu, you can create any of your financial documents found here in the bottom of the action menu. We have create estimate, invoice, material order, or create work order. We can also click on create document, which will pull up the document builder. This, and we can use any document template that we've added to our web app or our Job Nimbus account to build this document and add it to the contact. Another super neat feature in the action menu is that we can also upload photos straight from our phone. Clicking on camera up here at the top of the action menu will pull up our mobile device's native camera application. With this, we can also easily take a photo and then upload it to the contacts file. We can also click on add photos found in the action menu or also in this photo window to upload any photos that we've taken previously and we want to upload to the file. We can select just one photo or we can select a whole slew of photos that we want to add and click OK. It'll process the images and then it'll give us the option to sync the images and upload uh, upload them to the contact. If we decide to add a caption, we can click on add caption and then type whatever we want in. And then we can decide, no, I don't really want that photo and then delete it. And then it won't update and it won't upload to the contact. After we choose to upload, we can choose which file type we want to upload those under. So let's Let's choose the, and let's just keep it in the photos, a file type for now. And let's click done. There, now those a photos are uploaded to the contacts file. But photos aren't the only thing that we can send into Job Nimbus from your mobile device. We can also send PDFs by using the share to or send to feature on your device. So let's pull up a PDF document. Here we have a floor plan. If we want to send this into Job Nimbus, let's click on the three dots in the top to bring up the PDFs menu and then click send file and then choose Job Nimbus. This brings up the save to window or send to window. First thing we'll want to do is make sure that we choose a contact or job to send this into. Let's choose property management services again. And now we can choose an attachment category that we've created. With this, let's choose the proposal category and then save this attachment. This attachment will now be saved in a, the contacts file. Here we can take a look at it right there in the documents tab. And we can take a look at the photos that we've added earlier in the photos tab. So as you can see, Using the mobile app, you can easily keep track of the attachments, documents, and photos in your contacts and jobs. You can also use the mobile app to add new photos and documents. This makes it super simple when you're out in the field and you need to update your contacts or jobs on the fly. So let's get back to the website application to talk more about attachments in your account. Thanks, Dan. That's some good information.
Now to cover just a few last things, you might be wondering, why is there a documents tab and a photos tab? Effectively, anything that you upload will be stored in one of these two places. If it's a document type file, like a PDF or a Word doc, it's gonna show up in documents. If it's an image type file, like a JPEG or a PNG, it'll show up in the photos tab. There's no real way to change that. It kind of is the way it is. Any further uh, changes that you want to make or categories that you want to make, you can use the custom categories that we talked about earlier to do so. You'll notice the upload button over here where you can upload things from the web app. And to download things, we can click on the three dots to pull up the action menu and choose download here. That will just download the individual item that we're looking at. If you'd like to download everything that is under a particular job or contact, you can use the download all button. Now this will download everything that is held directly under the contact and not anything that's related. So if we unclick the related box, you'll see our numbers drop a little bit. 42 items versus 168. So the ones that are not related are the ones that we'll get. If we click download all, then it will take some time to create a zip file of every PDF and every image that is under this particular contact. Just click the big blue download button and you'll get that zip file downloaded to your computer so that you can use it for your contact, for your subcontractors or anyone else who might need to see that information. That brings us to the end of our organized presentation. If you've got any questions, go ahead and type them in chat, raise your hand, use the Q&A. Tristan will pass those off to Daniel and I and we'll talk about uh, anything you like that has to do specifically with attachments. Just let us know when you got a question, Tristan. It would help if I unmuted myself. Sorry about that. Um, someone is actually asking how to change the photo upload quality. That's a really good question. Uh, there is a default photo upload quality that you'll notice on your photos. It'll tie it to a fairly small size. You can change that by going into your settings. Once again, you'll need admin access for this. And in the general tab, you'll see this option for auto resize images. The standard that it starts at is 1024 by 768, which is pretty small. You can change it to a medium resolution, a high resolution or full resolution, which is whatever that you take and put in is what it'll use. Generally, we start it on optimized resolution to make the system run a little bit faster, make things pull up faster. But if you've got photos that are very important to your business, or photos that need a high level of detail, then you'll definitely want to change the resize option. And we do have another one here. Uh, can you explain more about templates and what kind of templates do you recommend making for roofing companies? Absolutely. Uh, let's touch on that just briefly. There are a lot of options for templates. We actually did a webinar on this earlier that you can find on our YouTube channel. But templates cover anything that you would make that you would use over and over again. So for instance, we have a lot of email templates in here that say, hey, uh, we're ready to work with you. And if I look at this, it'll have the contact name will pull up automatically and just give some basic information. So there's email templates, there's templates for your estimates and invoices that change the way they look and how they're displayed document templates like we went over earlier that allow you to create a document like a contract or something. And those are things that you would use as roofing companies a lot. I know there's a lot of repetitive emailing and repetitive documents that you want to make. Templates make that easier and faster. Yeah, most of our uh, templates that we see, most templates that we see in pe uh, people's accounts are contracts or email templates uh, saying we're so excited to work with you 
or your, a, your appointment is coming up for email templates. And yeah, those are just a lot of templates that we see just to get your mind thinking about what you can use templates for. But you'll mainly be using document template, be creating document templates and email templates, and then maybe updating some of your financial templates. That's a great question. Thanks. Uh, Tristan, are there any more? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, another question we have here is, what is the difference between documents and company documents? That is another great question. Uh, so documents are what you upload into your contacts files. So they're housed in your contact. Company documents is a feature that you can enable here in your features. You can just enable it right here. And that is where you can house documents that you want your team to see. They're a, they are housed right here in this documents tab in the dashboard. And you can upload any document that is important for your team. So when they come into Job Nimbus, they can see specific, a specific documents. And as you can see here, there's a lot like a customer list, a .csv file. If your company needs it, you can also use uh, upload photos that your team uses a lot so they can download to their computer, add it into other documents that they're using. So this is company documents as for internal use for your company, for your team. Whereas the documents that you upload to your contacts are for those contacts or those jobs. So you can add them to specific uh, estimates. You can email them out to the contact to the subcontractor. That's a good question too. Uh, I have another one here actually too. Uh, so this morning I was un I was getting in an error uh, when trying to delete an attachment and the error was unable to delete attachment related to active activity record. What can I do? Okay, this is a little bit of a wonky one. Let's jump into our demo again. Let's take a look at it. So normally, if you want to delete a photo, sorry, Dan, I'm going to go ahead and delete one of these photos here. You just click on the three dots and you choose delete. And that'll take it right away. There are two cases where you can delete something or where you tried to delete something and it won't work. The first is if it is tied to an email. So if someone has sent an email to you that includes a photo of a house or something else, then that photo is tied to the email itself. So to delete the image, you have to delete the email as well. The second option of why this could happen is if you're trying to delete something like a document PDF or a work order PDF that was created in Job Nimbus, that actually exists as its own thing. So if we look at this document 1106, we can see this here and it needs to be deleted from here because it's tied to our document viewer as well as the PDF itself. The PDF is just kind of an image of the, uh, the actual document. So if you're saying, uh, I can't delete this, it's either tied to an email, tied to a job Nimbus document template or financial template, or if something has been signed, you also can't delete it for legal reasons. So those are the options. All right, well, we are running down on our time. So let's head back into our slide deck to finish this up. All right. So the takeaways we want you guys to have here is that there is a lot of different ways for you to add important documents to Job Nimbus to categorize them under your contacts and that you can do this from both the web and the mobile app. We want you to know that you've got power here. You can attach these documents and images to your estimates, to your documents and send them via email. So you've got a lot of ways that you can utilize this information to make your business grow. So uh, I just want to uh, let you guys know that you can always reach out to us by in support uh, by calling either 855-964-6287, extension 2. 
You can also email us at support at jobdemos.com or you can also uh, use that little chat icon in the bottom left corner when you have Jobdemos open. Uh, you can also view our previous webinars by visiting our YouTube page. And you can also take a look at our awesome help articles and videos at support.jobnimbus.com. And if you have joined us today and you're not actually a Jobnimbus member, we are really super thrilled to have you, have you here. And uh, you can actually try a demo of Jobnimbus using that link right there. And I do want to thank all of you for coming today, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and a great weekend.